Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is another tutorial on Adobe InDesign CC 2020. In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the use of character and paragraph panels. So we are going to demonstrate that on the text that we added in the previous tutorial. If you didn't see the previous tutorial or if you don't know how to add this text or use the type tool or the text box, you can refer to the previous video for more information about that. So we're going to have the text and I'm going to open the character and paragraph styles and uh, basically to avoid keep opening and when you select it will close or for better viewing in my opinion of course the interface manipulation is it depends on each one's preferences so I'm going to just take this here so I'm going to have the character and paragraph styles open here all the time because I'm going to work with them so from the character panel as you can see you can change the the text formatting and the difference between this and this the first difference is you don't need to double click and go inside the text and select okay so when you click the text box you can just simply select any text for any font name that you want you see this is the font of course and uh, I, there is no formatting for this uh, font name so as we did uh, as we did in the previous tutorial from here you can change the text size okay from you can here uh, change the leading or the leading here you can change the spaces between characters and as you can see it's disabled because in this option you need to put the, your cursor between two characters or two letters more precisely in order to increase the spacing between them and as I said you can go extreme so you see the difference okay without that you uh, you are not gonna if you don't select it or if you point if you don't point the cursor in between you're not gonna see this option available it's gonna be disabled and this is the tracking which is the spacing between uh, all the characters I'm gonna go for the auto here I'm going to select uh, everything and just it's gonna be zero and this is going to be auto okay and as you can see the text is exceeding the the text box boundaries and we're gonna have a dedicated video for this manipulation or for this issue here I'm gonna go and make the text smaller 12 so we can see the whole text and as we said here you can increase the tracking which is the spacing between characters you can set it all back to zero and this is the scaling for both of them and this is the baseline shift which means I can select this for example this word here and increase the baseline shift and make it uh, upper or lower basically you can you, you can if you want to make it you can make it lower it's very similar to sub and superscript but the text size will not change so if you don't want to use these you can use the base shift and then change the font size but of course sub and superscript will be more easier and efficient this if you want to change the baseline for a whole line or something else because in the super and subscript you cannot control how much height or how much above or below the baseline it will be it's going to be automatically set by the software but here you can do that and here the screw as we said and from here is the language where you can uh, use different languages if you want to type in Arabic for example you can you can go to Arabic and select the typing uh, select and start typing in another language so this is the character uh, panel very similar to what you you had to to see here anyway it's going to be very useful if you for example not working with the typography interface like for uh, sorry not desktop publishing for the for the essentials you cannot see any properties up there but you have to go here and change the values okay and uh, I will uh, go back to the typography workspace one more time and this time we are going to talk about paragraphs panel so as in any text editing application the paragraph panels usually you can add the alignment this is left alignment center alignment and align right this is the justify with last line left align justify with center justify with light with the right justify all and here you can align towards the spine here you can align towards the spine in the, the other uh, and in the other direction from right and you see it is different different direction from here or from here anyway we are, we are going to stick to one of those and when we 
maybe we get back to these things when we learn how to do how to design a book or some similar things in Adobe InDesign this option here enables you to to create a lift indentation as you can see when you change it it's always a good idea if you are new to anything you read the tooltip text because it's going to help you understand what is going on and this is the right indentation I'm gonna just stick to zero again <coughs> okay you can, of course you can just write zero and here is the first line tab and this is very important of course you can leave spacing for um, because some people they say I don't need to do this I actually I just leave a spacing or tap myself like this and this is going to be okay but uh, basically when you do it from here you don't have to do it manually for every and single paragraph okay you see now you need to, to press tab again yourself so I'm gonna just go back here and you can increase this to 2 for example and then when you go let's say for it was you see it, it's going to be automatically added so it's going to be more efficient to use these options and at the end it's your it's your choice to select whatever you want and this is the last line right indent so this one is how much indentation you are going to leave and as you see anyway when it is let's say near the end let me write just blah 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 text or anything and you can see this option here working so let me let's demonstrate this and anyway it's just like an indentation but for the last line let me increase this and see it's, if it's gonna be um, visible okay let me delete and let's go for higher values yeah you see now we have indentation so it is different than what we did before so I'm going to get back to zero and here is the paragraph spacing before the paragraph and after the paragraph I will go to it, uh, to this again and this is very useful if you want to leave uh, spaces between this of course some people would say I will press enter and that's it if I want to make it smaller I will select this and select uh, a smaller font size and this is not efficient way to do that it's much better to select these things and leave a space after the paragraph as you can see and before the paragraph as well of course this is after and before okay so and here you can uh, add a space between paragraphs using the same style okay if two paragraphs using the same style you can set a, a spacing between them as you can see here now I will go back to zero time here and here and you see by default you will ignore their style and when we apply the paragraph styles we will get back to this and demonstrate how this is going to affect the result anyway you see you cannot change this right now because anyway as I said we're going to get back to this after we finish our talk about paragraph styles the other thing which is very useful here is the drop cap number of lines so if you want to make the first line or the first when you see we I will just select all my paragraph and I'm gonna just select this zero you can click this or just increase this to you see you don't have to select anything to make the the first letter on a space of two lines you can make three lines four lines as you want and this is basically scale it horizontal not scale it make it larger like you see in magazines and some newsletters of course if you select a, a different font this might even make make sense or be more visible of course you can also select and uh, let us just keep it not selected you can see even if you don't select you add it how many letters you want to create the drop cap which is this you saw the drop cap one or more characters and you can make the whole word or the first word or the first here five characters it's big drop cap okay and of course here you can add shading and you can add borders to your text as you can see now if you don't select a paragraph or a whole or anything it's gonna add to the paragraph where your cursor was inserted so I'm gonna undo but if you select all of it all of them will be shaded all of them will be bordered 
okay and you might say but I have a text box yes but the text box if you don't add a border to it it's gonna it's not gonna be visible and to demonstrate this you see when we go to the again I will go to the view here and we select preview so you see you're not gonna see the text box anymore you're going just to see this okay and I will go back to my normal so I will select everything and I will check this off and check this off okay and that's it for this tutorial this is all about character and paragraph panels I hope this tutorial was useful and you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and see you in next tutorial inshallah